Good day class. Our lesson for today is all about multiplication and division of integers. So we have here the following diagrams on how to multiply or divide integers. So if you multiply a positive integer by another positive, the product would be positive integer. Likewise, when we divide a positive by another positive, the quotient would be still a positive integer. For example, we have here 7 times positive 8, the product is 56. So, vice versa, when we divide a 56 by a positive 8, the quotient is still positive 7. Okay? Another one. If we have a positive integer multiplied by a negative integer, the product is negative. Okay? Same when we divide negative by a negative, the quotient is positive. Okay? Again, when we multiply positive by negative, the product is negative. But when we divide a negative by another negative, this time it is positive. For example, we have a 9 multiplied by negative 4, the product is negative 36. But when we divide negative 36 the same way with negative 4, this time the quotient is positive 9. Next, how about if we multiply a negative integer by a positive 1? So here, the product is a negative integer. And when we divide a negative by a positive, this time the quotient is negative. Example, we have a negative 5 times a positive 6. The product is a negative 30. But when we divide a negative 30 by 6, the quotient is negative 5. Okay, observe the following and then later on we'll summarize the rules. Another negative integer, this time multiply it by the same which is negative, the product is positive. But when we divide a positive by a negative, the quotient is a negative integer. Example, we have negative 9 times a negative 3. The product is 27. But when we divide 27 by the same number, negative 3, the quotient this time is negative 9. Alright? So now, what do you think are the rules in multiplying integers? So, when we multiply two integers with the same sign, the product is always positive. Okay? Either that is both a positive being multiplied or both a negative as long as they have the same sign the product is positive second when we multiply two integers with different signs the product is always negative so multiplying a negative by a positive number and a positive by a negative number the product is always negative third any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So this one is the 0 property. For example, we multiply 5 by 0, that's 0. 1 million times 0, still 0. Or negative 1,000 times 0, the product is always 0. We also have here the fourth rule. When we are to multiply 3 or more factors, what we need to do is to just count the number of negative integers and if it is even, the sign is positive. However, if it is odd, the sign is negative. Let's have an example for this rule number four. The first example would be five times negative two times negative one times negative two. As you can see here, according to the rule, we have to count the number of negative integers. So we have here 1, 2, 3. And we all know that 3 is an odd number. Therefore, our sign should be negative. So let's now multiply 5 times negative 2 times negative 1 times negative 2. 
the product is negative 20. Another, if we have here the factors negative 3, negative 1 and 4 being multiplied, count the number of negative integers. So we have here 1, 2. And 2 is an even number, therefore our sign for the product should be positive. Okay, so what is negative 3 times negative 1 times 4? The answer is positive 12. So that is meant when we multiply three or more factors. How about the rules in dividing integers? So as you can see, or as you have seen on the diagram, same rules being applied for multiplying integers. Multiplying the same sign, the quotient is always positive. Okay, so if we, uh, sorry, dividing the same sign, the quotient is always positive. For example, positive divide positive, it's positive. Negative divides negative, it's always positive. Second, when two numbers with different signs are divided, the quotient is negative. Example, a positive divided by negative, it is negative. Vice versa, negative divides positive, it's always negative. However, we have a different rule for dividing 0 by a non-zero and vice versa, okay? If we divide 0 by any number, the result is always 0. For example, 0 divided by 10, it's always 0. However, if we divide the number by 0, the answer or the quotient is undefined. For example, 10 divided by 0, it is not 0, rather the quotient is undefined. Okay, so for your assignment, just perform the, indica uh, the indicated operation. So we have here 10 items. Thank you.